hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society here with a free pattern for a holiday gift card holder. You can make it into an elf or a Santa one. It really just dresses up a boring old gift card and looks great. As you can see here, the gift card does fit a bit snug, so you want to make sure that you follow the pattern. I will put the link to the free pattern below and the list of supplies that will be needed. For this pattern, I used Knit Pick Shine Worsted in Macaw, Dandelion, and Black. And then I also grabbed an E crochet hook. This is my clover hook, my favorite hook. A pair of scissors, a stitch marker, a yarn needle, and a measuring tape. We're gonna get started here with our green yarn. We're gonna make a slip knot. We're gonna wrap the yarn around two fingers, and we're gonna push the back piece to the front. And then you're gonna pull that front piece of yarn up, making a slip knot. You can use that tail to adjust it and then place your hook into the slip knot. We are gonna loosely chain nine. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is our first chain from the hook and we are gonna work into the second chain from the hook. We are going to do one increase, which is two single crochet that's single crochet one, single crochet two. And now we're gonna make a single crochet into each of the next six stitches. So here's single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and six. In this last chain here, we are going to make four single crochet into that stitch. So we have one, two, three, and four. And don't worry if that hole gets big, you can just cinch that shut because that was where our slip knot was. Now we are gonna work down the other side of the chain. Here are where we put in our last single crochets, those four single crochet. Now we're gonna put our first single crochet under this stitch. So we're gonna single crochet in the next six stitches. So that is single crochet one, three, four, five, and six. We are gonna put an increase in our last stitch, which is right here, so that's two single crochet. Single crochet one and two. Since we're working in continuous rounds, we're gonna put a stitch marker on that last stitch. And before we continue on, I just wanna get a quick measurement because this will decide if you have to start over or if your gift card will fit. So here we want to measure at least two and a half inches. If you get anything less than two and a half, you may have to start over with a bigger hook size. Let's say an F hook. And if it's still not big enough, you may have to use a G. If you get a little bit bigger than two and a half, that will work just fine. You can keep it. But if it is smaller, you definitely want to go up a hook size. Moving on to round two, we're going to single crochet into that next stitch and we are going to single crochet all the way around. So this pattern is mostly single crochet with the exception of a slip stitch in the last row. So it's really easy to watch any show <laughs> or watch some YouTube videos. You don't have to think much about it, um, but just continuing to crochet, single crochet all the way around. And I just wanna show you how we change our stitch marker here at the end. So you wanna make sure you have 20 stitches this is 19 and we're going into stitch 20. So we're going to change our stitch marker to the last stitch of the row and then we'll begin with round three. We're just going to continue single crocheting around. You'll start in that next stitch and keep on trucking. <laughs> It's funny because I don't really give gift cards at all for gifts. I'm a total present giver and I, um, if I have to buy a gift card, I feel like I failed, even though I love getting gift cards, like I'd rather get a gift card than anything, but 
it's like a challenge for me to buy every single person a present, so you'll have to let me know in the comments below if you're a total gift card giver or if you're a present giver like me. Okay, so we're continuing around and we're almost at the end of the row. So here is 19 and we're gonna put our last stitch in the stitch with the stitch marker. So if you're a beginner crocheter, I just wanna show you how to count these rounds. We can see where we did row one where we fold it and where we have these like corner holes are somewhat unavoidable. Um, so if you start from there, you can see that that's one, two, and three. And if we move to the other side, you can see that's round, row one, two, and three. Round, I'm sorry. Also quickly, I wanna show you, if you do have a spare gift card, you could just do a size check. And if you don't, no worries. If you measure two and a half, it'll work just fine. So continue crocheting all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end of round seven. So here we're at the end of round seven, we're gonna do a color change for the beginning of round eight. We're going to change to the color black, whether you're doing the elf or the Santa. So here's our last stitch. We are gonna yarn over, pull the yarn through, and when you have two loops on the hook, you're gonna grab your black yarn. You're gonna leave a tail and you're gonna hold that in place with your finger and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through. You'll see that your last stitch is still green and but the new yarn that you'll be using is black. So change your stitch marker to the last stitch of the round and then what I like to do is give a tug on both of the colors and then from here I'm gonna show you how I cover this yarn. I'm gonna keep the green yarn going because we're only doing black for three rounds, so I'm gonna just pull that up. But I do wanna hide this black yarn because I'm not super into weaving in all the pieces. So place your black yarn right by your green. Get set up with your black yarn and make sure you've um, put, pulled everything tight. And then you're just gonna single crochet right over that black yarn. So that'll keep that inside your gift card holder. So this is row eight. You're just gonna continue all the way around. And then once you feel like you might've reached the end for that black yarn, just go ahead and give it a snip. Continue crocheting all the way around and I'll meet you back at the end of round 10. Well, here we're at the end of round 10 and we're going to do another color change. So we're going to put our hook in the last stitch. We're going to have two loops on the hook and then we still have that green yarn hanging. So we're just going to pull that up, yarn over and pull it through. So our last stitch will be black and our new stitch will be green. So you can just tug both of those colors just to make sure that your stitch is tight. And then I like to change my stitch marker and cut that black yarn because I'm just going to crochet right over it. You can single crochet right over that black yarn and then continue crocheting with the green or if you're doing Santa you would change to red all the way to round 16 and I'll meet you back at the end of round 16. So here we are at the end of round 16. We're going to do another color change for the elf. We're going to do yellow and for Santa white. You're gonna pull through and when you have two loops on the hook, you're gonna grab your yellow and leave a tail, hold it down with your finger. I'm just gonna tug my green yarn and I'm gonna yarn over and pull it through. So here we'll have the green, we'll start with the yellow, we're gonna change our stitch marker. I'm gonna cut the green yarn. And then I'm going to tug all my pieces once again and then just get set up with my, my yellow yarn. So here I'm gonna tuck in my green yarn. So I'm gonna pull it behind my working yarn and I'm just gonna crochet right over it. So we're gonna single crochet. You might need to pull on that yellow yarn if it tugs if it pulls out on you. So just single crochet all the way around. 
until you reach the stitch marker. Here we're ending in our last stitch and we're going to change the stitch marker. Starting round 18, we're gonna make a slip stitch in each stitch around. So in your first stitch, you just yarn over and instead of yarning over again, you're just gonna pull it right through. So yarn over and then pull that yarn straight through. Try to do this as loosely as you can because the tighter you pull, um, the harder it will be to get your gift card in. So try to do this loosely all the way around. So we're reaching the end, you can take out your stitch marker and then we're just gonna add two extra slip stitches. It's a little tough to get in those last two, but just slip stitch into your second stitch and then we're gonna make a seamless join. So what you're gonna do is grab up your scissors and leave a long tail. Instead of fastening off your work, all you're gonna do is pull that yarn straight out. Grab a yarn needle and thread your yarn through the needle. And then you may need to pull your work a little so you see where your last stitch is. So here's our last stitch. And then we wanna to go to the stitch just to the left of it. So we're gonna put our yarn needle under both loops of that stitch. And then we're gonna pull through. Then we're gonna go back to our last stitch that we made, the one to the right, and you're gonna go right down the middle of the V. You're gonna pull that through and then I like to give it a tuck. Weave both of those yarn pieces in and then your gift card holder part is done and we will move on to the belt buckle. So here's the finished holder. I'm gonna show you how the gift card goes in pretty snug and if your slip stitches are tight, you just have to finagle it in there and then you can just get the gift card. The first time it's a little tough, but once you take it out and in, it fits, it fits really well. One more thing I just wanna show you is this color change here. If you really hate this, which I kinda do, I would just put your stitch marker on that last stitch and then add two black stitches before you make a color change, and then it'll look a little neater. So that's it, we're gonna move on to the belt buckle. For the belt buckle, we're gonna start out with a slip knot you can wrap the yarn around your two fingers, push the back to the front, and then pull up on that loop. Use the tail to adjust. And from here, we're going to chain 12. We are gonna connect with a slip stitch. So what you wanna do is make a U shape, and you want that to stay flat. And then you're gonna connect with a slip stitch into that top of the chain. So we're gonna make our slip stitch here. Then we're gonna chain one and we're gonna make a single crochet into the same stitch that we just made the slip stitch into. So single crochet one. We're gonna single crochet into the next stitch, that top of that chain and then we're gonna make three single crochet into the next stitch. So we're gonna do one single crochet, two, and three. Now we're gonna make a single crochet in the next two stitches. So we have one single crochet and then another single crochet. Then we're gonna do three single crochet in the next stitch. We need to make our four corners, this is three. And then we're gonna do a single crochet in the next two stitches. We're gonna make three single crochet into that corner stitch. That's one, two, three, and then a single crochet in the next two. Single crochet one and two. And then we're gonna end with three single crochet in that last stitch. This is one, two, and three. We're gonna connect by making a slip stitch into the first stitch. So I just, I wanna show you here. Here is our slip stitch, our chain one, and that was our first stitch of the row. So we are going to make the slip stitch right into that stitch here. 
We are gonna do a seamless join like we did before. So we're gonna cut the yarn, leaving a tail. Pull the yarn through. And then we're gonna attach our yarn needle. Pull the yarn so you can see where your last stitch is. And then you're gonna move over to the left. You're gonna put your yarn needle under both loops and pull it through. Then you're gonna move over one to the right into the last stitch that you made, and you're gonna go right down the middle and pull that through. And I like to give it a tug. Then you're gonna weave in both ends of this piece. If you plan on sewing your belt buckle onto the gift card holder, leave a long tail and just weave in the one end. And if you are planning on gluing it to the gift card holder, just weave in both ends. Here is your finished belt buckle. So you want to place the belt buckle between 8 and 10, the black belt. And then I use just a little bit of fabric glue. I really like Aileen's and I also have this Elmer's glue. And I put a few dabs on the belt buckle itself. And then I place it onto the gift card holder. I have the gift card in there and if you do have a gift card, it is a little bit easier to um, have it dry with the gift card inside, but if not, no worries. So let that dry and your gift card holder is done. It was super easy. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Grab your yarn scraps and put on a show and just crochet a million of these for Christmas this year. Uh, you can go to yarnsociety.com for the free pattern. I'm going to link it down below. And if you do like these tutorials, please subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs.